Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to talk about um, Makey Makey. So uh, what is Makey Makey and why I'm talking about it? So I'm talking about Makey Makey because uh, I went through different, uh, let's say, IT conferences and about the one dealing with kids, at least about what kids are learning at school when it comes to IT. Um, they are all talking about um, either the team your robot either about scratch or either about makey makey and i did not have the possibility yet to dig into it and today i received my kit so i'm happy i can actually uh, play with it a little bit so uh, the makey makey is the thing that you are seeing here uh, you can order it it's uh, worth uh, oops worth uh, 50 euro in my case i didn't purchase this one um, because i didn't have 50 euro to be honest to um, to invest in i went on aliexpress and i purchased this one at only eight uh, eight euros so it arrived uh, today i can already show it to you it's uh, it's over here okay that's uh, the one that you can see um, that you can see here um so actually it's not just the pad like this that you are receiving from aliexpress is the pad plus all the wiring which are coming uh, with it such as the the one uh, that we have over here but as i don't want to make uh, things complicated i'm just gonna explain it briefly with few wiring so here is the maki maki okay that's that's um in fact that's a simplified arduino uh, card so you have the the processor over here so it's already uh, configured in fact it's kind of a keyboard on which uh, you can plug different wire that actually after that you can add to any um, element which can pass some electricity such as this uh, given uh, fruit and um, so those are the the controls of course you can use it for video games or uh, creating any specific program uh, so here for example it will uh, if you put it here it's written space it will consider that the wiring that you put over here will be considered as a space same thing for a click over here here's the right arrow so on and so forth and at the back uh, you get some extra wiring uh, which will be the equivalent of the one of your keyboard so you may uh, be able to read it uh, over here such as the letter a the letter s and so on and so forth okay um, so in order to make it work, you don't need any software or anything like this. I mean, as far as you plug it uh, straight away to your computer through USB, it will consider it uh, directly straight away as a keyboard. And um, so no Arduino to install, nothing like this, already embedded uh, over here with all the program. You have nothing to do here. And in order to start to play with it, of course, you need to put some electricity. So in order to put electricity, you just need to put this uh, USB cable, I mean, the other part on uh, your keyboard. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So if I do it, you should see that it's going to be uh, full of colors, as you can see, because I just put the USB on. And then if you would like to use, for example, the space key, then you just need wiring. So it's what we call in French, I don't know if it's the same in English, crocodile crocodile wiring um, and then you just put it over here and then uh, what you need to do is that you need to connect it um, to an element so in my case i'm going to connect it oh, sorry i'm not going to use the black one because normally the black one we are used to use it uh, for what's called earth and oops uh, so i'm going to use this one instead oops i'm just putting it like this okay all good and then uh, what you need uh, so you can probably put it like this uh, within your fruit but it's probably better you get more precision if you use the extra wiring that they are uh, giving you so like this and and then you insert it within your fruit okay it's not that uh, beautiful but they give full example with fruit so that's why I took a fruit I should have taken something else um, I see a lot of example using water I don't think you should use water because you with water you can definitely uh, destroy the computer i did uh, i did it once and i can tell you that it cost a lot of money uh, okay and then in order to end the electricity uh, circuit so what you need to do is that you need to plug something at the bottom over here which is the earth and then uh, you need to connect it to something else most of the time people just uh, take it within their end like this in order to end the circuit and that's it in fact oh you can see that every time that i'm pushing now the fruit i get in fact uh, the uh, card which is 
uh, acting. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you a practical use case and it's going to be very simple once more. I'm going to go like uh, like this. Yep, sorry for that. We go over here. I'm going to go on Scratch. Uh, so I have no idea if you know what Scratch is about. That's uh, how kids are learning IT at school. And uh, I'm going to animate the cat and in order to animate the cat in fact it's uh, so here i added some puzzle bricks so here it means that every time that i press the space key so it can be the one of my keyboard for example if that's the one of my uh, keyboard of my laptop you see that the cat is moving but if i do it uh, with the fruit so right now i'm i'm uh, let's say i'm touching the the fruit and as you can see if Oops, I need to take it with my hand. If I push uh, the fruit, so you cannot see it because now you see the, the cat moving. But if I do it like this, I can move back on the I can move back on the scene. But as you can see, every time that I'm touching the fruit, I get my card which is reacting, so I get the cat moving. And that's everything that I wanted to show you about uh, the introduction to Makey Makey. So it's a simplified Arduino card in order to simulate a keyboard on which you are wiring uh, some uh, cable to elements in order to uh, control them. And of course, you can have a lot of fun because then your kids are understanding a little bit more about uh, programming, about, uh, let's say, physics in, uh, in general. Then it's kind of, uh, of fun to have adults and children uh, playing all together in order to configure, and, uh, to configure this, um, this toy and to be able to, uh, to play with it and uh, have a common, let's say, uh, playground. Uh, thanks for watching.